Hello, welcome to chapel time. Uh, today is Earth Day, and so our chapel time is going to be about how do we care for God's earth. And so we tried it outside and it was a little bit too windy, so we're back inside. So I'm grateful for Henry for helping to lead chapel time today. And he's going to lead us in the opening prayer, and so you can repeat after him. Repeat after me. Repeat after you. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. For this new day. For this new day. Help us to serve you. Help us to serve you. In all we do and say. In all we do and say. Amen. Amen. And we are going to light our candle, and so Henry's going to help us with that. He's going to be our acolyte today, so you want to grab that? And today we're, again, because it's still Easter season, we are lighting our big Paschal candle, it's called, but it's basically our, our resurrection candle, the candle that we celebrate Jesus rose from the dead with. And so we'll get that lit. Thank you, Henry. You have to tilt it. And so as he lights our candle, we can think about who is the light of the world. And so whenever you light a candle, you can remember who is the light of the world. Who's the light of the world, Henry? Jesus. Jesus, yeah. So we celebrate whenever we light a candle, we can remember that Jesus is the light of the world. That means anytime we're sad or we're scared or we're lonely, Jesus is with us and promises to be there. All right, and so then we also have our cross, which you can't see our big cross today, but back in the corner here, you can see our other cross. And so what happened on the cross, Henry? Jesus died on the cross. Jesus died on the cross. And do you remember why he died? To save our sins. He died to save us from our sins. Do you remember why else he died? Because these other people didn't like him. Yeah, so the people who had a lot of power didn't like Jesus because, we talk about this each week in chapel time, because all these people were following after Jesus because he was showing love and care to people no matter who they were. He was loving them and helping them. And so all these crowds of people were following after him, and the people who had a lot of power didn't like that. And so they thought that wasn't right, and they wanted to get rid of Jesus. So they had him killed on the cross, and he died on Good Friday. He was dead in the tomb on Holy Saturday, and then what happened? It was Easter Sunday. Easter Sunday, God brought him back to life. God raised him from the dead. That's what God wants for all of us, is life in Jesus' name, and life in Jesus, and also for us to show love to people like Jesus did. That was kind of God bringing him back to life was to say like that's God's yes to Jesus in his way of being in the world. All right, we're going to open our Bible now. And so you can have it marked if you have a Bible at home. You can mark it to Genesis chapter 2. And so I don't actually have that marked today, but you can mark it to Genesis chapter 2 and then have your children at home open it or you can just open it with us. So in Genesis chapter 1, we read about how God created the earth. God created the sky, God created the ground, God created the waters, the rivers, um, all the animals, and God created humankind. And then in chapter 2, we read that God created a garden, and God created humankind to till and keep that garden. And so God created humankind to till and keep God's earth. And so what does it mean to till and keep? To protect or care for. Yeah, to protect or care for. And so God created human beings because God just loves God's creation and loves us. But also God gave us a really, really important job to do, that we are to care for God's earth. We're given that job um, above all other creatures, above all that God has made, God gave us this job to care for God's earth. And so today is Earth Day. But whether you watch this today or you watch it another time this week, you can still celebrate our role to care for God's earth. And so what are some things you might do to care for the earth? Can you think of anything? Pin up trash. Yeah, you could go out and pick up trash outside. Definitely do that with a grown-up if you're a young person. What else? Plant trees. You could plant trees. That would be awesome. I hadn't even thought about that one today. You could plant trees or plant flowers. Um, you could even go outside and look at the flowers that are growing or the green grass or the blue sky and you can say thank you god for all that you have made and that's another way to just take delight to enjoy god's creation so we're going to look at our candle now and you can just take a couple moments 
and give thanks for all that God's made. And also maybe think about ways you might care for God's creation, God's earth today. Okay, and we're now going to do our song, and I had said last week that we're going to try out this song for a couple weeks. It's um, Rock Sword Shield, and so there's some motions that go along with it, and Henry's going to try that with us today, too. Okay, so it goes, he's my rock, my sword, my shield, he's the wheel in the middle of the wheel, he's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star, makes no difference what you say, I get on my knees and pray. And I'll sing until the day that Jesus comes. Yee-haw! He's my mm, mm, mm. Wheel in the middle of the wheel. He's the lily of the valley. The bright and morning star. Makes no difference what you say. I get on my knees and pray. And I'll sing until the day that Jesus comes. Yee-haw! He's my mm, mm, mm. Do-do-do. Lily of the valley, the bright and morning star, makes no difference what you say. I get on my knees and pray, and I'll sing until the day that Jesus comes. Yee-haw! He's my mm, mm, mm. Bright and morning star, makes no difference what you say. I get on my knees and pray, and I'll sing until the day that Jesus comes. Yee-haw! He's my mm, mm. Makes no difference what you say. I get on my knees and pray, and I'll sing until the day that Jesus comes. Yee-ha! He's my mm, mm, mm. On my knees and pray, and I'll sing until the day that Jesus comes. Yee-ha! He's my mm. All right, and so we are going to end with our closing prayer, and you can repeat after me. Repeat after me. Psalm 150. Psalm 150. Verse 6. Verse 6. So you put up a 5. And plus one equals six. All right, so Psalm 150. Psalm 150. Verse six. Verse six. Let everything that breathes. Let everything that breathes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And that's a great one for today as we celebrate Earth Day and all that God has made. And so we praise the Lord and give thanks. And so you can repeat after me with this prayer. Repeat after me. Repeat after me. Dear God. Dear God. Help us to praise you. Help us to praise you. In everything we do. In everything we do. Amen. Amen. And now we go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Okay, we will. All right, we are so grateful that you joined us today. We miss you, and we hope that you have a wonderful week. Goodbye.